All right, so I guess the right. big story, or I don't know, it is, it is a story of a certain size that may be described as big by some. Uh, the Game Awards have officially announced their nominees, and obviously there's a whole bunch of categories out there. We won't go down every single one, uh, but we'll go ahead and tackle the main one. So for Game of the Year, the games that they have chosen from, uh, from what's come out this year are Animal Crossing, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, and The Last of Us Part Two. What do you guys think of that list? Is that a decent enough coverage of what kind of came out this year? Is there maybe some big snuffs? Uh, maybe something I mean, Kingdom Hearts related? Uh, so I don't... Like, Melody of Memory is great, but it's not like Game of the uh. Year, at least so far, for me. Because like mm -hmm. before all the drama with like The Last of Us came out, I would have easily said that, because that's the game that had the most like impact on me this, this year. But... I, and this is just my own biases showing, but, like, Resident Evil 3 isn't on there. Like, um, if I had to pick out of that whole list, I would probably pick Final Fantasy VII Remake. But even then, that's not, like, Game of the Year to me. When did Final Fantasy VII Remake come out? Was that, like, in February? Yeah. Uh, it was it... right after, right before, no, it was right after quarantine. Like, it was right after, like, quarantine started. Like, near yeah. April, I think. That feels like a million years ago. Like I had to stop yeah. thinking. Like, wait, did that come out this year? It felt. It feels like it came out a year ago. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, I know <clears throat> Animal Crossing isn't necessarily something that I'm into, even though I recognize how much people love it. So I have I no issue with that. But personally, I, mean, I was I convinced like... for Animal Crossing. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Animal Ugh. Crossing is there because of the impact that it's had on just people in general. It was literally just like it was it's like what I saw was like Animal Crossing is the game of this year. I was like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. You won me over. That's that's all the argument I needed. <laughs> it's the ultimate good vibe game, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and the fact that the fact that it came out when it did yeah. was particularly telling. I think it was one of the it was, alongside Doom Eternal. It came out right when quarantine started. I think. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think it was friends. like a week or two, which was, I think we might have mentioned it on last episode, but those two games got kind of lucky in that um, they didn't have to deal with COVID as much as other studios that had games released during it, or uh, I'm saying, sorry, released later on in the year. Like they only had to adapt a little bit, get over the finish line. Uh, another thing I realized that's not on there, uh, and again, biases, and maybe I'm the only person in the, in the world who considers this game material material, is uh, tell me why. I haven't played that, actually. Personally. To me personally, that's really high up on my game of the year list. And for, to me, tell me why you got very snubbed, in fact, throughout the, all categories. I hmm? think the... Like, tell me why it isn't really... It's only in, I think, one category. It's... I think it's only in games games for change which i, I yeah. can understand why it's on there but at the same time like it's not mm. up for like best like story or anything yeah but honestly i thought its story was extremely well done i, I feel like people forgot it existed this this Absolutely, year which is just yeah. really sad i think the only reason i would say i, I don't want to say the word the word deserves but just for lack of better word for this context i think the only reason why it doesn't air quote deserve to be on the game of year of the year list because that story isn't complete i believe it's only the first two episodes are out no everything's, no, no, everything's out. out oh is every okay no yeah, never mind. Out. it's three episodes okay. it's three parts right it's three parts and it's all yeah. out right yeah okay, it I'm, came I'm... out they released week after week after week it, it wasn't like uh mm. Life this is Strange like 2, where it was like months. No, this came out like week after week after week. Okay, damn. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> so like yeah, a like lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, like the like the Game Awards forgot a lot of games. This like like you completely since um since it since uh, it came out it came out after the cutoff last year. It, this year, well, only one instance of uh, uh, Fallen Order, which I feel yeah, like deserves yeah. to be in way oh, more yeah, categories. The Fallen Order is another game. I forgot that came out this year. I feel like it actually didn't. It came out in uh, December. <laughs> there you yeah, go. but it came out go. the cutoff of the of the Game Awards. So I feel like that's just so unfair to it because it's like it's not even on the edge of like um, mm -hmm. of gaming discourse because because everyone in their mind just like yeah, 2019. Let's not even bother thinking mm -hmm. about it. It's so. really unfair. It got really unlucky, and I love that game. 
I picked it over death. I picked it over Death Stranding, and I'm really glad I I made that choice. (laughs) Among Us is nominated for stuff when that game came out like what years ago? Mm -hmm. Like like two, three years ago. Uh, Yeah, uh, 2018. Yeah. It's I don't know because it's like at least in my personal opinion, not many like crazy big things have come out to make you like forget everything that came out at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. It's like. I fact think that, that about Fall in Order, forget about stuff like Tell Me Tell Me Why, but then you have to remember that not many places reviewed Tell Me Why. If you look at, like, different review outlets, not many places did. Yeah, it also, it just seems to have gone under a lot of people's radars just generally. It's a shame it's on Game Pass, too, so <laughs> if you already have that service, it's, it. it's completely free on Game Pass. Mm-hmm. So it's I I don't know just well, I, yeah. I feel like it's for for what it's worth so underwhelming to me I'm just gonna watch to see what they reveal for next year. For what it's worth, I have not played. Uh, tell me why, but I am a huge fan of Don't Nod's previous work. Um, probably probably a bigger fan of Life is Strange two over the two previous ones. I saw um, Life is Strange too. one and uh, what what was the in between one before the storm? Uh, yeah. before the storm and before then before. Storm. I feel like people. The funny thing is, I oh, feel like Captain people. Spirit, people right? Captain Spirit, yeah, oh, no. that was sort of a mid qual. And then the the one the donut game that people always tend to sleep on is Remember Me, which I think gets a bad rep. I I, I enjoyed it. It was uh, it, the I, irony kind of, of that name. Yeah, the, the irony is not lost <laughs> on me either. <laughs> they had difficulty finding a publisher for it, apparently. But no, I just think this entire award thing this year is incredibly underwhelming. Like, again, I'm not really caring about the awards more than I'm caring about, like, what they're going to uh, announce or what they're Mm -hmm. rumored to announce, to be honest. Like, I I can honestly care less about what wins stuff right now. I haven't haven't played Hades, but I would say the obvious weak link on the on this list so far is probably Ghost of Tsushima. Like oh, I, I, yes. I love that game, but yes. it is basically I mean, just a very that. good Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's phenomenal. not quite game of the year material. It's one of those games where I would call it a solid 8 out of 10 in the sense that it's a great game, but I would not rank it among my best. I have played that one too. Oh. And it's, it's like somebody... Games so- are out of 10. It's like somebody took Assassin's Creed, to your point, and just put an incredibly beautiful set of shaders on it. It's an incredible-looking game, but it didn't leave much of an impact on me beyond that. I I think what it comes down for me, at least, um, because we're going to be doing our own Game Awards, we have our own categories and whatnot, we're going to be debating that live, so if you have any question behind the logic of what we pick, you can uh, stay tuned live to see how that kind of uh, horribly unfolds. I have the most important category, category, which is hottest, hottest fictional dude of twenty of uh, twenty twenty, including the super shotgun from Doom's Eternal. Oh, you just added that, but it, it's a very have important. Have you seen it? He decided. So, close, close wins besides Zagreus. Uh, first of all, that's not a wrong answer. It's <laughs> not a wrong. <laughs> Granted, I thought he was hot way back when they announced this game. Even I like Zagreus. Come on, years ago. When I was just like, hey, this game's fun. No one else is playing it but like me and like five other people who have Epic Game Store accounts. But yeah, just going back to Ghost of Tsushima, like when I think about it, it's like it's a very good jack of all trades. But when I think of things that excel in one category, like I look at Doom Eternal, I'm just like, that's the best shooter of this year, if if not the entire generation. And then Last of Us has one of the best stories of this generation, if if not all games. Well, I look at Ghost of Tsushima, it's just like, yeah, as uh, as Nitro said, it's it's basically an 8. It's a very good 8, but just kind of in the middle. Yeah, like, because I think he, it's like, there are games where you consider great, that there, that there are games that are, wow, that's great, and there are games where it's like borderline 7, almost, if that makes mm-hmm. any sense. Swimming in 7s. Mm-hmm. Though, I can... So I, I can enjoy a 7 or 8 out of 10 more than they can enjoy a 10 out of 10. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> but so yeah, we're, we're going to be doing our own uh, 
not awards show, but we'll be we'll be discussing like the categories, what we believe we'll go in. We'll we'll have fun with it. It's gonna be mm-hmm. a big chaotic mess, and it'll be beautiful. And uh, so that should be coming, maybe not next week, because we do have to narrow down the list, and we need everyone on in order to mm-hmm. um, to argue will, for what they believe uh, should be must, on there. I must say, I want I want to say something about the game awards. Oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, is that they 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 hate the FGC and they are constantly <laughs> making fun of us every time. <laughs> having having um. Let me let me get to the list. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows in best fighting game is so rude. <laughs> it's so frustrating. For those that don't know, uh, Mason is uh, a resident uh, fighting game expert. You you want to give us the laydown of that specifically and why that was a bad decision? Uh, well, I guess because there's always, <laughs> I guess every year there's always a 3D arena anime fighter. And they're always bad, and <laughs> <laughs> and no one plays them, and they're and they're, they're terrible. And they and for some reason, people who don't play fighting games always lump them into fighting games when really they honestly belong closer in family than they do in fighting games. So would it's you say basic, Would you say basically the only reason that's made it on the list is because they're like, uh, oh, it's a fighting game that got on there, and yeah, people, that came out this year and people bought it. Mm-hmm. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, the rest, the rest, the rest, the rest of it's fine. The rest of it's fine. I believe there is a Gundam fighting game that came out this year that apparently was really, really good. That the I, mean, I remember seeing a lot of people were disappointed that it wasn't nominated. But besides that, um, on the the category is better this year than most years. I, I think at this point for our fighting game. Uh, category. We're just gonna name it with the subtitle Mesa's fighting game category <laughs> because I, think I mean, you might be the only one that's actively that's 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 active in that community. I can only talk about Guilty Gear, and that's it. I can only if this if this were last year, I could talk about Smash Brothers Ultimate. Then I could talk I could talk for the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> M- well, we- Mesa. Are you talking about M- Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost On? That's a name I th- for a game. I think so. I believe that's <laughs> it. Yeah, that's like Sad a Kingdom Hearts name. name. But yeah, I think I think I think it made some waves in in uh, a an, in uh, anime like, fighting game Twitter. It doesn't even look like it came out in America though. Uh-huh. From what I'm seeing, I can only find like you 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 have to import a. Asian territory copy because that has English s- subtitles in it. Huh. That's yeah. So I mean, I can maybe understand why that wasn't nominated. Yeah, that, that's the case. And yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, like you, you you have to import it to play it. So 